Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. This one I'm doing by request. Uh, this is for the GZ Doom engine on how to load the mods with the uh, batch files versus just doing the shortcut from the actual GZ Doom itself. Uh, and the reason this is probably the easiest method, uh, if you're like me and you have a lot of mods, you'll notice sometimes you will load a, a certain mod that you're playing. And then what you're going to have is in the load game window, you're going to have, uh, you know, various save files that may look like they belong to that mod, but they're actually save games from another mod that was run by GZ Doom. Uh, so if you guys are having that issue, I'm going to actually show you what it is if you do not know what the, that error looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch this mod here, Venturas, through the um, GZ Doom shortcut that I created. And eventually this is what's going to happen if you do have a lot of mods. So for example, we'll go in here, we're going to try and load a game. And as you can see, that one right there, you can tell that's a uh, Doom save right there. So we have a lot of saves on here that, you know, will not load because they're not in use with the mod. So you're just going to get a blank window. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the uh, easiest way to avoid that. And you're basically going to create a save file for every uh, single mod if you follow these instructions. And you shouldn't have the issue of, uh, you know, it's showing multiple save games uh, for different mods that are not going to work with the current one that you're running. So the first thing we're going to do, obviously, if, you know, you already know how to install uh, GZ Doom if you're watching this. So here's a good example. What I do is do everything with the batch files. So I'm going to show you uh, what they look like here. Now I have gone, uh, clicked on type. So it, you know, packs all the uh, same of type of files together. So I'm going to scroll and you're going to see there, you see a ton of batch files. Now, normally you would think this would be a mess and it wouldn't work, but this is actually quite organized because of the way I uh, make the batch files. So here, for example, now we're going to launch the same exact, uh, same exact mod I just showed you. And this is with a batch file. So now, as you can see, there's no load games you know, on there that do not correspond with the mod. So I'm just going to go ahead and super quickly launch this and just save a spot right here. So we'll just call this one. Now, when you go back in there, you're going to have just that and it's going to correspond to the actual mod. Uh, as long as you follow these instructions, you shouldn't have any other mods showing up when you play a certain one. All right, so back to this. So the simplest way to do this is literally you're just going to make a uh, new uh, text file. So you're going to right click and then you're going to go to new, create a text document, and it should just pop up on your screen, should look empty. So the general rule to do with this is I'm going to show you a uh, one I've done, uh, you know, simple so you can do these to launch the game stock or you can actually uh load them with the you know extra pk files or pk3 files to load uh you know different effects like the helmets special effects and things of that nature uh graphics packs and so forth so i'm going to go ahead and just show you a basic one so this is just one that runs uh smooth doom so you can see the first thing you want to put in here is just gzdoom.exe that's going to load the actual uh you know, the game engine there, then you're going to do uh, dash IWAD space, and then whatever mod you want to run. And then after this line here, every single PK file, PK3 file you run, you're going to put dash file in front of it, you're going to put a space, and then the name of the PK3. And this is basically, you know, not endless, but you can go ahead and just keep loading uh, different PK3 files after that one. So you will literally do the same thing file, you know, minus file, a space, the name of the PK3 file, another space, uh, minus file, and then another name of a PK3 file. Now, in order for this to work, like I showed you, where you don't have all the mods mixed up, and as you can see, I have a whole slew of uh, games on here, and I don't have any issues now, because I've uh, kept following this formula, and it's real easily, uh, you know, to do real easy to do. So what you're going to do for whatever game you want to run, like for example, this is Smooth Doom, so what I did on here, you're going to write after you've, uh, you know, put all the uh, PK3 files here on the uh, notepad, you're going to type in dash save directory abbreviated like this. You're going to put space, saves, forward slash, and whatever you want to save uh, that folder to. You want to try and make it sure, you know, if you make separate ones with different things, always make sure that you name this according to, uh, you know, whatever the game is. So in this case, it's Smooth Doom. 
So what I'm going to do now is actually save this with that smooth doom title on here. Now, when you save this, you want to make sure you do file save as you want to make sure the text documents option here is it's uh, changed to all files. And we're going to call this doom smooth. Dot bat. So now if we go in here and scroll to the top, you'll see it created a new one. And that's the one we were just looking at. Now, the reason I changed the title of that, that is so you know that that, uh, you know, uh, batch file has the commands in here for the uh, Doom Smooth uh, edition on here and name it like that. Now, word of note, I have noticed sometimes I've downloaded PK3 files uh, and when they make them, they will make the, uh, you know, they might call it something like this. You'll have a space. I've noticed that GZ Doom for the most part does not like if there's spaces. So either put in a uh, underscore or just, you know, skip putting a space in there and put everything together. You also want to follow that little formula for this. If you were to do this on here, what it's going to do is forget everything after that space and it's going to create a folder uh, smooth instead of Doom. And the reason you don't want to do that, because if you have several Doom mods and you put, for example, Doom space one, doom space 2 they're all going to save under doom and then you're going to have the same issue again with the multiple uh, save games showing so you want to make sure there is no uh no uh spaces in between the save game directory and then like i said i'm going to actually show you what that actually does on here so, so like if anyone was to look at this they say this looks like a mess and it wouldn't work but it works perfectly fine so what that little addition to the end of that batch file does is create a save folder so for example now every single mod you run with that batch file if you follow the uh you know the instructions i showed you with the you know the naming you're going to have separate folders for each so when you launch those mods you're only going to see save games that belong to that mod you know, which will make your gaming a hell of a lot easier because you're not going to be clicking on a save game and expecting it to launch and it's just going to jump back to the window. So that is a way to save the games and run them uh, with that batch file shortcut. You can do that for practically any mod that's out there. Now, some mods uh, are a little bit more complicated. They may have uh, a certain order that the uh, files need to be, you know, in so all you would have to do is just read the instructions if there's a specific file order then uh you know it'll more or less uh show you on the website or the actual instructions for the uh mod itself and just follow those and put them in you know the order that they say and you should not have a problem launching the game uh, so that is it for this video if you guys make use of that please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so it just takes you know literally a second to click on that subscribe and that helped me, you know, will help me out a ton. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.